We are talking a bunch of wind, but I actually wanted to start off with some Dana centric great news. 80 degrees coming our way probably Thursday. If it doesn't happen on Thursday, it will happen on Friday. Uh, you know, it's late March. Typically, we can see 80 degree weather as early as early February. Sometimes it doesn't happen until well into April, but on average, uh, we're actually past due for 80 degree temperatures. They usually occur in the middle of the month of March, but really the wind is the big deal over the next few days. 35 mile per hour valley gusts today, tonight and tomorrow. I still think we'll be a touch breezy on Wednesday with some 25 mile per hour gusts. And then as we head toward Thursday and start to focus on that warmth, uh, we will enjoy calmer conditions later this week. A lake wind advisory is in effect for Boulder City, Lake Mead down the Colorado River Valley. A gust of 35 miles per hour along the lake and the river tonight through tomorrow. And these are winds from the north and they always tend to funnel and pick up steam as they head down toward Laughlin. So just a heads up temperature wise 55 right now downtown. Actually, that's uh, 55 at the airports, 55 north Las Vegas, 53 in Pahrump, 60 around Lake Mojave, 63 at the moment in Laughlin. A lot of sunshine outside. I think that sunshine you know, is trying to warm our temperatures into the mid 60s, which is about where we were over the weekend. The wind, though, makes it feel much cooler. It's nice to have the sun, but if you're outside, it feels pretty cold. Our temperatures will feel even colder this evening as we tumble into the 50s and the breezes, if anything, may get a little stronger while you're sleeping tonight. So you will hear the wind, I think, rustling the windows as you try to sleep tonight. 65 the high today in Aliante, about 60 in Summerlin, 64 around Sunrise Manor. Temperatures down to the southwest running almost 10 degrees cooler than average. Only going for 62 around Rhodes Ranch. We'll look for 63 in Anthem. And again, that north wind on average about 15 miles per hour through the afternoon. But occasionally we'll see some 35 mile per hour gusts and that could cause some big waves on Lake Mead. Not sure there are a ton of folks out there boating, but if they are, they need to be careful the next few days. Got a weather system bringing some rain into New Mexico. It's actually an upper level disturbance. It's sort of pivoting across the four corners uh, that is just catching southern Nevada with enough wind to cause some issues. We don't have any rain chances to worry about in the uh, future cast here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all dry, and I think we're going to hold on to dry weather actually right on through Easter weekend. Our allergy forecast, let me show that to you one more time. Uh, tree pollen sky high today, tomorrow. It's not going to change too much on Wednesday and it's still mulberry, ash and juniper. Here's the seven day planner. And doesn't this look nice? Once we get into the 80s later this week on Thursday or Friday, we'll keep them around into the weekend. Now Easter weekend is going to feature occasional clouds. I think especially Saturday, the high clouds will be fairly thick. But with temperatures in the low 80s, it'll feel pretty nice for your Easter plans. It'll be a slow build up to the 80s, though. 60s today, 70 tomorrow, and still plenty of wind the next couple of days. Todd, folks need to, I think, uh, uh, make sure they don't have any loose objects in the backyard. If it's trash day in your neighborhood, uh, you may have to go wondering for the trash can because it stays windy today, tonight, and tomorrow. All right.